For the record, I do believe that Seven News, Tony Kovaleski's a joke when it comes to his reporting skills. An attack on Denver 7 reporting tonight after our investigative team exposed a controversy in Park County. Last month, we told you about a local government giving special treatment to a prominent business leader. Frustrations boiled over following last month's report. And tonight, Chief Investigative Reporter Tony Kovaleski takes us back to the mountain community where commissioners were expected to make a decision between a business owner and his concerned neighbors. Any comments on our reporting? His name is Adam Shirley. For more than six months, his business and his actions have found their way to the center of this major Park County controversy. Did you see our story? Oh, yeah. It's a one-sided deal. It sounds like he didn't like what we reported about this structure. He apparently didn't like hearing attacks from his neighbors that he was sidestepping rules and regulations to get approval for a waste transfer station alongside Highway 285 as you enter Park County. He doesn't think the rules apply to him, and obviously they don't, and that's the story. Why doesn't the, the rules apply to him? Our feeling is the... The tail is wagging the dog. That white building on the hill has been a representative symbol of what I view as lawlessness, both from the applicant and from the county. You know, Adam tells me what a great neighbor he is, and we all know that's not true. And it wasn't just neighbors questioning Adam Shirley's development plans. We also reported concerns from current and former county employees. What is the truth? The truth is that uh, the applicant in this case received preferential treatment contrary to the public interest. Adam Shirley? Yes. John Deegan is a former senior county planner. As the county manager, what's your message to Adam Shirley? Comply, follow the rules. And Tom Eisenman is the county manager, Park County's most powerful public employee. Does Mr. Shirley have a problem following the rules of your county? Mr. Shirley is not helping himself. And a few days after that story aired, more than 100 Park County residents packed the commission chambers and the Zoom meeting, two distinct sides to one controversial building. You will be hard pressed to find an individual who better represents the small town living and sense of community that we so greatly value. One side defending the reputation of Adam Shirley. He's worked with the county to do this the right way. He's taking safety seriously, and I want to commend him for that. I am urging you to do away with this right now. Others yeah. challenging county commissioners to shut down this proposed waste transfer station. Having seen some information from various people from the Channel 7 News report, there's a question as to whether this process has been conducted in good faith. And that brings us back to Adam Shirley and those claims our reporting was a one-sided deal. You don't think it was fair? Well, I wouldn't say it was as fair as you wanted to make it. But I tried to reach out to you multiple times to hear your side. Right. We texted, no matter, no I matter. called. This is, this, is, this is media. This is media. No matter what I say, you'll spin it. We found that response a bit puzzling because after every prior meeting, we gave Adam Shirley the opportunity to tell his story. Take a look. You probably know many of your neighbors aren't happy with what's going on and we're trying to understand what's true and what's not true. Sure, I'll, I'll give you a call. Mr. Shirley, Tony Kovaleski back again because we, we really want to hear your side of the story. And our parting offer to Mr. Shirley, another chance to tell his story. Do you want to sit down? Not today. When it's over? We'll see. I'm not making no promises. <laughs> In a rather unusual move, instead of voting on Mr. Shirley's request to operate and finish building his waste transfer station, Park County Commissioners tabled their decision until this coming Tuesday. Our team will be back in Park County for that vote. I'm Chief Investigative Reporter Tony Kovaleski.